The world of aviation and defense technology has reached another milestone. United States Air Force's newest stealth bomber, the B-21 Raider, has officially advanced to its next stage of testing. Just recently, reports confirmed that the second B-21 prototype, known as T-2, successfully conducted its first flight. This moment may seem technical, but it carries major implications. For the U.S. military, for the future of stealth technology, and for global strategic balance, so. What is the B-21 Raider? Why does this second flight matter? And what could it mean for the future of warfare and deterrence? Let's explore in detail. The B-21 Raider is the newest strategic bomber developed by Northrop Grumman for the U.S. Air Force. It was first unveiled to the public in December 2022. It is designed to replace the aging B-1 Lancer and B-2 Spirit, eventually complementing the B-52 Strata Fortress. It represents the first new American bomber in over 30 years. Its name, Raider, honors the Doolittle Raiders, the American pilots who carried out a daring bombing mission against Japan during World War II. The defining feature of the B-21 Raider is stealth. Its shape, materials, and coatings are designed to make it nearly invisible to enemy radar. It incorporates next-generation, low-observable technology. Going beyond what the B-2 Spirit achieved in the 1990s, it is intended to penetrate even the most advanced air defense networks in the world. In an era where nations like China and Russia are building advanced anti-aircraft systems, stealth bombers remain one of the few tools capable of reaching heavily defended targets. Some may wonder why invest billions in a bomber when missiles and drones are already part of modern arsenals. The answer lies in flexibility and deterrence. Bombers can carry a wide range of payloads, from conventional precision-guided bombs to nuclear weapons. Unlike missiles, bombers can be recalled after launch, giving leaders more control in a crisis. Their very existence serves as a deterrent, signaling to adversaries that the U.S. has credible long-range strike capabilities. The B-21, therefore, is not just another aircraft, it is part of the nuclear triad alongside submarines and intercontinental ballistic missiles. The first B-21 prototype, known as T-1, completed its initial flight in 2023. Now, with T-2 taking to the skies, it demonstrates that the program is progressing from a single test model to multiple aircraft undergoing evaluation. T-2's flight-tested handling, systems integration, and flight performance. Each prototype is part of a gradual process. Ground tests taxi tests, short flights, and eventually full operational trials. These flights typically take place from Edwards Air Force Base in California, home to the Air Force Test Center. The fact that a second bomber is now airborne shows growing confidence in the Raiders' design. While many details of the B-21 remain classified, here's what is publicly known. Dual capable. It can carry both conventional and nuclear weapons. Open architecture. Its systems are designed to be easily upgraded with future technologies. Digital engineering. The aircraft was designed using advanced simulations, reducing the need for costly redesigns. Crude and uncrewed potential. Reports suggest the B-21 may one day operate with or without pilots, making it highly versatile. This makes it one of the most advanced bombers ever built. Not just a weapon, but a flying technological ecosystem. The B-21 is not cheap. Each aircraft is estimated to cost around $750 million, though this may vary. The Air Force plans to purchase at least 100 units, with some estimates suggesting the fleet could eventually number 150 or more. Total program costs could reach tens of billions of dollars. Supporters argue that such investment is essential to maintain U.S. air power into the mid-21st century. Critics warn of ballooning defense budgets. The B-21 Raider is not being developed in a vacuum. China is building its own stealth bomber the H-20, which could threaten U.S. bases in the Pacific. Russia has announced plans for the Pacta, though its progress remains uncertain. Regional powers are investing heavily in advanced air defense systems designed to deny access to hostile bombers. Against this backdrop, the U.S. views the Raider as essential to maintaining its technological edge. Why is the flight of the second prototype so important? Because it signals that the program is maturing? One prototype could be a proof of concept, Two prototypes mean the design is reproducible and testing can expand. It also shows that the program is not stalled. Progress is steady. 
For military planners, each successful flight is a step closer to initial operational capability expected later this decade. Once in service, the B-21 will form the backbone of America's long-range strike force. The B-1 is expected to retire in the 2030s. The B-2, though iconic, is expensive to maintain and will also be phased out. The B-52, remarkably, will remain in service modernized with new engines and systems alongside the B-21. This mix of old and new flex a pragmatic approach, blending proven platforms with cutting-edge designs. Interestingly, the B-21 Raider is not just about dropping bombs. It could be adapted for intelligence, surveillance, and reconnaissance ISR missions. Its stealth and endurance make it ideal for penetrating contested airspace to gather data. Future variants may even serve as command and control platforms for drone swarms. In other words, the Raider could evolve into a multi-role platform that extends beyond traditional bombing missions. Every test flight of the B-21 sends a message not only to American citizens, but also to allies and potential adversaries. To allies, it signals that the U.S. is committed to maintaining a technological edge, reassuring collective defense commitments. To adversaries, it demonstrates that the U.S. retains the ability to strike anywhere, anytime, even in heavily defended areas. This is what makes the Raider not just a piece of hardware, but a symbol of deterrence. The successful first flight of the second B-21 Raider prototype T-2 may not grab global headlines like a political crisis or a battlefield clash, but for those watching the future of air power, it is a moment of real significance. It means that the program is moving forward. It means that America's next generation stealth bomber is becoming a reality. And it means that the strategic balance of the future is already being shaped in the skies over California. As the B-21 advances from prototype to production, it carries with it not only bombs and technology, but also the weight of history and the promise of deterrence. The Raider is more than a bomber, it is a signal, a tool, and perhaps the most advanced aircraft ever built. And with each flight, the world edges closer to a new era of aviation.